Hi there, my name is Harry and I like to make videos with the aim of helping math students and today I'm going to talk about how to excel at maths. So what do I mean how to excel at maths? So I'm going to talk about how the brain works, how memory works and how to best utilise that to make sure that you do extremely well in maths and understand the concepts and this should apply to anyone who's doing a maths degree or does maths as a hobby or maybe even a science subject. So first of all we need to talk about memory. There's two different kinds of memory. There's working memory which is how much memory you can have in your brain at one particular moment, so short-term memory. And research has shown that most people can hold about four ideas in their head at one time and that's it. Second kind is long-term memory and this is memories that are stored over a long period of time. But it's important to note to keep memories in long-term memory you have to regularly recall them, so regularly bring them back into your mind to strengthen those memories. So in order to excel at maths, you have to form what are called chunks. So these are conceptual chunks of information that bring together lots of ideas in your mind. So literally in your brain, these are sets of connected neurons and you can hold one of these chunks in your working memory. So when you first view a bit of information, it will be broken down into lots of little bits of information and you can only keep four of them in your mind at one time. So the idea is to form them into a chunk in your brain so that they can fit in one of the slots in your working memory. Then the more you do this, the more ideas you have in your mind at one time because instead of something taking up hundreds of slots in your brain, it's only taking up one. And then that means you can hold even more by having a chunk in each slot. And this allows you to manipulate maths more in your mind and to see more clearly solutions because you can look at multiple ideas at once. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about how to form chunks and how to strengthen chunks. So to form chunks, you need three main ingredients. Firstly is focused attention. I talked about this a bit in my last video. And this is your working memory. This is what you think of as thinking. So this is reading through something, actively working on a problem, actively looking at an idea, trying to understand it. Second thing is understanding. So the more you understand a chunk, the more likely you are to form a chunk. And thirdly, there's application. So this is applying the information to something and that makes it more likely that you're gonna form a chunk. The most important of these three is understanding. So one of the best ways to get a chunk into your mind is to switch between focused thinking and diffused mode thinking. And this is something I talked about in my last video as well. So focused thinking is what I've just explained and diffused mode thinking is where your mind is wandering, where you're doing other things, menial tasks, just walking, or your mind is working in the background, associating ideas. So the, what you want to do is swap between these two as often as possible which is why there's such a benefit to studying a little every day leading up to the exam throughout the whole semester because then you're more likely to form these chunks and then you're more likely to be able to answer a question in an exam because you've got more ideas in your head at once so these two modes of thinking work together so focused mode thinking takes the idea into your mind and then diffuse mode starts to put it all together and understand it and put it in context to help you form this chunk. Another good idea is when you're applying your chunk to a problem and you get frustrated is to leave it and come back because this lets your diffuse mode way of thinking work on the problem in the back of your mind and helps push the understanding forwards. And then it's also important to strengthen these chunks. So some great ways of doing this are spaced repetition, which is the idea that you take, you review a problem at set intervals, usually getting further and further apart. And this is why that software application Anki is so good because it automatically sets the intervals between the reviewing of memories further and further apart, which helps solidify the chunk in your mind. So if you do them at set intervals that don't get further apart, then you're wasting time because each time you review it, you strengthen the chunk and you make it more likely to last a bit longer in your mind. Then we also have active recall, and this is, as I've talked about before, is the idea of bringing memories forward. So if they're in the back of your mind and you force yourself to remember them, 
you're more likely to remember them in the future. So the act of remembering makes remembering easier. And this again works well for enforcing chunks in your mind and making them stronger. And then another idea is something that I've called mental scaffolding. So this is ideas that help you hook your chunk to another chunk in your mind, which means it's more likely to form a memory and stay in your head. So by this I mean, as an example, using metaphors. Like if you're learning electricity, you use water pipes as a metaphor because water pipes, they're already a chunk in your mind and they're already quite strong and well remembered. So if you can attach the concept of electricity to water pipes, I can't remember exactly how it works, like voltage is the amount of water and amps is the speed of water, that could be completely wrong. But then if you take electricity and stick it to the same idea, then you're taking advantage of a, chunk, of a chunk that's already in your mind. So you don't have to worry about forming new neurons. And the second one is reading through your notes really quickly the first time. So just read through the titles, the subtitles, the graphics, the diagrams, the pictures, and then this will give your brain something to hook these ideas onto. So as you take all these different ideas, there's like a scaffolding that your brain can stick the ideas to, so they're more likely to form a chunk and stay in your mind. And a similar idea to this is memory palaces. If you haven't heard of memory palaces, I advise looking them up because they're a really great trick for remembering lots of details and especially for forming chunks. But the general idea is you use a place you know well and you put ideas from a chunk in different rooms in that place or different areas in that place and then you walk through the place in your mind and you can easily remember all of the different parts of the chunk. A great idea is to use this for proofs, so break a proof down into steps. I've got a guide on how to memorize proofs using Anki, but another way of doing it is using memory palaces. And then as you walk through this area, you see each step of the proof and it's much easier to remember. Okay, so to recap, you have four slots of memory and you want to chunk as much information as possible so that you can keep as much information in these four slots at one time. And you do this by switching between focus and diffuse mode thinking as often as possible. And also we want to strengthen our chunks with spaced repetition, active recall, and some memory tricks like mental scaffolding. So if you use these tricks, then you'll find it much easier to conceptualize maths and you'll do a lot better on your exam in a lot less time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more like this, then please subscribe. And if you have any ideas on how to save time in studying maths or how to understand maths better, then please put a comment in the comment section below. And finally, there's a link if you like my t-shirt and want to buy one. There's a link in the description below.